Hello, my name is Matthew. I am 10 years old and live in Malta, which is a small island located in the Mediterranean between Europe and North Africa. Malta has one primary airport. The Malta International Airport Terminal is over 72,000 square meters and in 2019 alone, it welcomed over 7 million passengers where 33 airlines connected the Maltese Islands to more than 125 destinations in 43 countries. Malta International Airport has two runways linking nine different aprons. Malta's aerodrome was accurately built into Minecraft. Please join me for the tour. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Matthew speaking. We will be soon landing at the Malta International Airport. 20. 10. Retard. Retard. I will secure the surveillance cameras around the entire airport security perimeter with intelligent tracking and automated control room notification. I also build drone and bird detection equipment and they are used to detect and notify the presence of birds and drones. This will make the operation safer and reduce the possibility of having accidents which can be very fatal and costly. Another renovation built is the hydrogen fuel tanks which will be a cleaner aircraft fuel source for generations to come. The Malta International Airport is the only airport in Malta. The Minecraft build is special because the attention to detail and scaling was continuously adhered to to ensure the accuracy and completeness. This was achieved through a lot of research about the aerodrome, charts, the aeronautical information publication as published by the local civil aviation directors and Google Earth 2019 satellite imagery. Google Earth was a very useful tool to get the various measurements and angles to create a realistic replica in Minecraft. The scale used was one meter is one block. Within the airport design challenge, I enjoyed following the mentors week after week in formation whilst learning about various aspects and finally replicating the learning into the actual Minecraft build. I also enjoyed doing the research about the Malta Aerodrome and operations. This experience helped me to learn the importance of planning. Despite I did a lot of research and gathered material prior to commencing the challenge, there were still some planning aspects that could have been done better. The same can be said for managing the allocated time. Finally, I have increased my knowledge about the various aspects of forming an aerodrome. I can now understand the various markings, surfaces, lights, signs, including their purpose. This challenge has also helped me appreciate further the work involved for operating and managing an aerodrome. Thanks, FA, for the opportunity provided.